morning friends, uh, we are here at Marist School Marikina and beside me now is the president of the Marist Parents Teachers Association this year. She is none other than uh, Ana Gia Alejar. Good morning Rom and thank you for taking time to come by and visit us. Yes, because uh, you know Ana, I'm very interested with the work you are doing here. Uh, I have uh, met several Maris, I, I've met several parents teachers association and by far this is the most active the most vibrant uh, parents teachers association that I've seen uh, and it's worth the while to really uh, talk about it uh, let people know what you're doing so tell us more about Maris, Maris parents teachers association this year well actually unlike say, with other PTA PTA uh, pa Parent Teachers Association ang Maris kasi has two year term so yung iba kasi one year one year lang so when we took over last October 2015 so 2015 2016 and now 2016 2017 uh, ang minensyon namin doon is we have 11 officers in the board so we have seven from the parents and four from the teacher's side and the academics and we said that we cannot do this on our own because 11 people cannot manage the whole uh, group of the parents how many how many students we have no uh, so from the start pa lang, we encourage uh, assistance we encourage cooperation collaborations amongst parents and guardians so um, i think at the moment what <laughs> What makes it appear so active is because every once in a while talagang we, we convene with the level reps or the section representatives to get updates from them kung ano na ba yung status ng kanilang year level activities. And also from our side naman, like for example, the school has updates. We make sure that it the, the PTA itself is a medium of the school to disseminate information to the parents. So, siguro kaya lang it, it appears also as very active kasi we activated also our Facebook account, we, want, we invited as ma many members as possible and we're really wanting uh, them to be more organized and uh, there's more collaboration. You, you used the word uh, appear uh, twice. May I ask? Is this just for appearances? <laughs> <laughs> well, because I don't want to assume naman that we're really very, very, very active. No? Because I'm not going to be the one to say that. Because I'm just, I'm just the person behind the association. So if the people um, think that it is very active, then it's good that it's coming from the people. So, not from me, kasi baka sabihin naman lang, nagbubuhat ako ng bangko na just because I'm the current president, sinasabi ko na very active ang association at the moment. So, it's good if, uh, if, if the members, the guardians and the parents appreciate that. And we, we appreciate that also, that we're doing uh, good for the association. So, for me, that's, that's, that's very good. But, bottom line, you will have to determine and evaluate for yourself even if this is an active uh, association at all. I mean, for your own purposes. Uh, so, what is it? Is it appearance or is it not an appearance? <laughs> well, actually, siguro from my end, I could say that I am active as a person. No? Uh, in terms of an association, it is active in terms of it has a yearly activity. Just that the PTA of Maris is only local to the compounds of Maris, no? hindi naman kami yung going beyond, not at the moment, no? probably in the near future we can do, like for example, uh, external, external activities that not necessarily involve the students alone. Uh, pero at, yan, at the moment, we are active in terms of guiding the per level of, of from, from grade school to high school of the year level activity. So siguro in terms of that, we are very active in, in, in supporting and updating the parents, the guardians, and stuff like that. So ako, probably, I could personally say that we're active. Pero of course, it's not just only for me to to, to say it, diba? It counts more if other people say it to us. Kasi if we're the one who's going to say, we're very active, and then the people will not agree with us, it's, it's not very effective. Agree, agree. Uh, you also mentioned, I, I hope I 
Did I get it right? You said that this is a yearly activity? Yes. The uh, school level, in, uh, the year level initiative is a yearly activity. Like for example, Kinder now has a Kinder Family Day. So when they become grade 1 next year, they have one, grade 1 uh, year level activity. So every year, there's an activity. So it's, pero yung PTA, it's a two-year term. So we monitor the, the succeeding two years na, na year level activity. So year level in terms, of, uh, yearly in terms of the activities per year. Ayon, oh, okay. Because I thought uh, the Marist Parents Teachers Association is only active once a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, we would want to be more active than that. And so, how are you on on a day-to-day -day basis? What does it, what work does it entail to? to be a Marist Parents Teachers Association president for a year? What does it, what does it take for that? Uh, well, aside, because I'm not anymore employed no, at the moment. I, I resigned from work uh, two years ago. So I have time to come by every day as much as I can. I have two kids in Marist, so I have a grade six and I have a grade one. So because traffic is really ter terrible, I also it is also good that I, we have an office here. So when I come by here, I check all the lockers, if the students who paid for the lockers are already assigned one. So I check the status of the lockers. Uh, I meet with parents, like for example, yung mga level representatives for their year level initiative, yung kung family day bayan or outreach program bayan or seminar bayan. If they need to consult on something, they, they come to the office and I, I talk with them. And then sometimes pag meron ding mga subject week activity like for example Philippine week or uh, science week or sometimes mga sports activities they also come by the office to ask for um, assistance in may it be monetary or, monetary or non-monetary so it's a it's a regular office work there's a lot of things to do if you really want to do a lot of things so it's really up to you kung you find something to do it's a very, it's a very good way to keep in touch with the school, with the, the kids, because you get to interact with them every once in a while. I've been hearing uh, very good reviews about your performance so far, and uh, <laughs> and uh, maybe what I would like to ask is, uh, what's keeping you? committed to this work? It's keeping you really going for the job, <laughs> for the mission? <laughs> well, actually, siguro I'm just one of those people who are committed to whatever task they're, they're given. No? So, regardless if it's just, you know, simple organizing of a training or simple family event or simple school activity, if you're really committed to doing it, then, you know, by all means, you give your 100%. Uh, siguro what makes it more special in, in the MSPTA is because you're doing this for the students. Aside from you doing it for your son, you're doing it for the sons of the other parents as well. So, it is more, for me, it's more noble kasi, ano eh, it, it, it is a, a voluntary work. Uh, you do not expect anything in return. But you just make it a point that you give service to the students. Because ito mga students na to, they need guidance, they need as much quality services as they can get. And not all parents are given the opportunity to, to take part in the board. So because I'm given that opportunity to head the MSPTA, then I'm doing my best. Para naman, syempre, the parents who cannot be every, here every day because they have work, at least I'm able to reach out to them. And attend to whatever needs they ha their sons have uh, for as long as I can. Um, how many members do you have? Members? Parents? Parents teachers? Mm -hmm. I do not have an exact count, but uh, ang students natin ngayon is nasa 2,600. So, plus, uh, 2, 6 plus pa yun. So, syempre, per, may, may, may mga magkakapatid dun eh. So, siguro, in a family, baka may mga 2,300 tayo na naka-group na siya family category-wise. So it's, it's really a big group, thousands and thousands. So, and, and 
uh, the parents naman are very active. For example, they have the year level activities like yung recently concluded na kindergarten activity. So the parent, even if there were just two, two sections, very active. They participate yung mga parents. They took time out from their very busy schedule from work, kahit sa weekend, to come by and uh, support the activity. How do you manage to uh, engage your members in the activities of the association? Well, siguro it's proper networking, no? Kasi being one, na one per one parent, I cannot reach out to uh, all the parents in as much as I, I would want to, no? So the right thing to do is because we have naman parent representatives, sila yung immediate na kumbaga, in a hierarchy of the association. After the the board is of course the level reps. We communicate to the level reps, the level reps communicate to the section reps. So it's easier for the information to be disseminated. So we wouldn't have to really go down to the to every parents because we we collaborate with the level representatives para sila yung communicate downwards. What else do you want to achieve for the association within your term or maybe after? Within your term, let's limit We want to fix the parking. <laughs> <laughs> That's very immediate for the last uh, century. <laughs> but, but that's another. That's um, of course, uh, it's it's uh, an tawag don. It's a visible, concrete uh, achievement. No? Pero siempre the, the 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 PTA. Of course, you'd want it to be as active as possible. Para kasi that's the purpose naman of PTA, eh, di ba? To to bridge the gap of the school and the parents and the guardians uh, for the betterment of the students. So uh, anything that the, that the association can do to do that it will be much appreciated by, by all its members. And um, siguro eventually, if given the opportunity, we can go out of the school compounds and help out also externally, like for example, organize like, you know, medical missions, dental and medical, or other uh, outreach program that, that the PTA can also engage with. It, it, hopefully in the near future we can do that. Actually by way of accepting this invitation to be interviewed, you are actually in fact uh, reaching out to external uh, because uh, I, I mean to share this also with other parents teachers association which you know and so I like to ask you what is the ideal parents teachers association for you? What, what is the ideal? Wow. Ideal. Well, hirap yatang sagutin ng ideal eh. <laughs> Pero there's a guidelines kasi of the government, of DepEd in particular, of how the PTA should be treated, how it should be organized, and what functions, uh, ano yung coverage niya na functions within the school. Pero since it's uh, DepEd, it's it's ano it parang naka focus on the public. The private schools are given the discretion to how to manage its own PTA. When you say ideal, uh, well of course it basta it's within the bounds of its bylaws kung ano yung na mention na na state sa bylaws kasi the bylaws is it's like the bible of the organization. Uh, that's why the bylaws also should, should uh, be reviewed every once in a while to be updated, to conform with the changes. And, uh, kasi pag, kung ano yung nasa bylaws, yun, ibig sabihin yun, yun na pag-usapan for the benefit of the parents, the guardians, the teachers, and the students. Uh, the, the PTA should be guided by that bylaws. Uh, and then, kung ano yung kailangan i-update, siguro yun, you need to update that. Uh, Performance-wise, it should be... It, the PTA should have a strong coordination with the school, with the pre school's president, if, if the PTA is directly under the president's office. Because uh, sila yung in between, eh. kung bagas sila yung catch basin ng school. This is the school, these are the parents or guardians. Sila yung in between. So anything that will make the cooperation and the coordination and the collaboration efficient and effective would be the ideal. Uh, function or association of any PTA? Uh, sometimes bylaws can be 
technical. Sometimes they just submit the bylaws for the sake of being incorporated. Uh, is there anything in the bylaws that you sincerely think should be paid attention to? What clause? What? Sa PTA. Uh, well, uh, kasi yung PTA natin was reviewed a very long time ago. It was pre prepared since 1977 pa yata. And then it was it was uh, revised. Pero itong we were just lucky because itong term natin, ito yung na-presenta natin sa assembly and all the changes have been agreed upon and approved. So yung mga tining na nami doon is uh, of course yung how the officer should be elected and and nominated uh, and all the the functions that, that the board needs to do. Um, what in particular should be looked into? Well, siguro in particular function ng PTA kasi yun naman yung it, it, it is created for a certain function. Diba? So yung function niya should be reviewed all the time kasi sometimes pwedeng itong time na to pwedeng relevant itong function na to and then for the next uh, term baka mamaya hindi na siya relevant. Like for in our case, uh, before we reviewed the, by, the bylaws, meron siyang maraming committees. So we reviewed that, we revised that, and limited to three committees lang. Kasi nga, we, like I, I always say, we cannot do it on our own. So we need as much networking from the parents as possible. So we created committees, kaya lang, ideally, it's already been activa activated, kaya lang at the moment, medyo hindi pa namin siya na, na, na put in place. So siguro that's something that we should look into. Kasi the more cooperation and coordination and the more hands and legs and all the body that can help us, and the better. Diba? Para at least mas, mas mabilis yung movement. So long as there's one board naman that manages it, then I think it will be efficient. What else do you need so that this Marist Parents Teachers Association will blossom? Commitment. It's a number one commitment. Kasi uh, there's a lot of people who would, parents or guardians in particular, who would like to help. They can come over and, and uh, volunteer their work. Kasi yung cooperation is very important. Maraming parents who, who have plenty of ideas, but when you ask them on how to go about it, well, it stops from the ideas. So yun, yung cooperation, all the ideas that we can get, Kasi yung, ang, ang, ano naman, ang PTA, wala naman kaming uh, sole control of what's good for the students or what's good for the parents and the, and the teachers or the guardians. We, there's a lot of ideas that we may, we may not have at the moment. But if all these parents and guardians and teachers and students can cooperate with us, and then definitely yung, yung PTA will be very, very useful for the school kasi yun naman yung function niya talaga is to to bring the gap ano, or to minimize the gap between the school and the, the families. I understand that you recently had your first uh, family day with uh, Kinder uh, Matapat and uh, Magalang. Would you like to say something to them? Eh, nakakatawa kasi last school year kasi we had five uh, sections but now we're trimmed down to two. Pero nakakatawa naman kasi the, both the um, section representatives, uh, Mr. Larry and Ms. Kat, Ms. Katrina, they're very organized. Kahit dalawa lang sila, they're able to you know, come up with a good program, with a good flow. They're, they're able to coordinate with the parents properly. So the, the actual implementation of the family day was, was, was very efficient kasi you know, there will always be problems at the day itself. Like for example, late darating yung mga parents, or kulang ng upuan, or alam mo, may, may kulang na balun sa stage and stuff like that. Pero they were able to manage that. They were able to to do a very great job. And end point naman yan is did the student enjoy? Did the family really bond during that time? And was the objective of really uh, creating camaraderie amongst families and meeting each other? Uh, nag nagawa ba yon and with the help also of the teachers with the guidance of Mrs. Ranieses the assistant principal and it was a very successful event. Yeah.
And I understand you at, uh, you are going to have your general assembly this year. Would you like to comment on that? So, like yearly activity ng PTA, we have a general assembly. So for this year, we'll have it in August. So particularly August 14 at the high school covered court. It starts at 7:30 in the morning for the registration. So what can they expect from the GA? No. So first, we'll have an update from the previous school year. And then, ano yung mga what are we planning for this school year? And then, we will also have a financial report. Ano na ba yung status natin financially? May pera pa ba tayo? Or uh, ano pa yung mga pwede natin pagkuhan na ng fund to you know, put resources to our projects? And then, we will also, part of the fundraising will be the raffle. So, there's also something to look forward to kasi yung mga parents will win. Kahit simpleng mga prizes, at least, you know, the fun is, is, is there because... You know, everyone is always excited about the prod, uh, about the prizes. We'll be also uh, inducting officers and then yung mga section and level representatives, and the two new uh, MSPTA board officer of officers na induct din sila. And we're lucky because we're able to invite si Mayor Marcy Chodoro of Marikina to do the induction, as well as the Vice Mayor um, Cadiz. So uh, the the program will be will start with a mass between eight to nine o'clock, and then after which the redemption time will come. Uh, talk to your constituents now. Uh, don't end. <laughs> uh, there must there might be something now you have missed or anything or a final note from you. Like like I always say, naman, it's good to have. Uh, everyone active in the association because this is a parent slash guardian teacher association so we invite you to, to attend our GA uh, everyone is invited because we're going to provide updates like we always uh, invite you also to join our Maddie's PTA 2015-2017 Facebook account because it is through that that we're able to disseminate information to update you with anything and everything that we know Para at least lang, even if you're going to office every day and you're not able to come by the school, you're also updated with, uh, no, with uh, what's new in the school. And, you'll, uh, and, and by attending the GA, you'll also meet sino ba yung mga section reps, level reps. Uh, these parents that we're together with in our level will be, the, will be the same parents that we will be together with in the next years. Because we'll be together here in Maris for what? From kinder to grade 12. So... It's good na at, at, at this early point in time pa lang, we know each other already, we get to build uh, a good relationship kasi tayo-tayo pa rin yung magkakasama for the next years. And of course, through this also, we will be able to identify sino yung mga possible na maging MSPTA Board of Officers for next year. So, yun yung mga titingnan natin. Anna, thank you very much for your thoughts <laughs> thank you, thank you. And, your, and your passion for this work. <laughs> Thank you.